Hey guys! So today we're gonna do something a little bit different, kind of maybe as a little experiment. Yep. Um, we've been trying to figure out ways to put together some videos that kind of fill in the gap, what we're personally up to, or some like pick of the week stuff, or like stuff that we just are like, eh, it doesn't really warrant an entire yeah. video in and of itself. So this is gonna kind of be maybe like our catch-all style video. We'll see how it goes. Let us know in the comments what you think, if you're interested in this kind of stuff. Um, hopefully it's relevant to you guys and you enjoy it, and we'll keep doing it on a regular, semi-regular basis. Yeah. We'll figure it out, but um, let's get into it. So Ash, to begin the video, I wanted to kind of go over some stuff maybe that we're like super loving right now. Yeah. Like what are, we, what are we into? Yeah. What have we seen recently that are just like, okay, we got to tell everyone about this. Yeah. So what are you into? So right I've now? actually got two things I'm really into right now. Okay. So the first thing that I've been really into lately are braided belts. So whether it's a leather or a cotton canvas kind of material in dark brown, I like a dark brown leather braided belt. Navy's really great, so is a burgundy or a light like tan color. But I think it's just a perfect way to just kind of add a little punch to your outfit. And what's really great about them um, is that in case you you know, maybe gain or lose weight or the rise of your pant is a little different. So that means you need like a tighter belt or a looser belt. It's, I mean, one size fits all kind of thing. I have a so, couple of my favorites that we'll definitely um, include in the article. But the second item that I've really been liking um, is a like either silver or gold chain necklace. So it's like a box chain, really thin, usually around 2.5, 2.7 millimeter uh, thin chain that you can either leave untucked or tucked into your shirt. I personally think it's really sexy when it's tucked into your shirt because depending on what kind of collar or situation you're dealing with, um, just seeing a little sliver of it. As a woman, it's really sexy to see and it's a tiny little detail that could otherwise, maybe sometimes it won't even be exposed, but it's one of those things where if someone catches a little glimpse, it's like, ooh. So I've been really, really? I've been really, I've been really loving it and I've been putting it on my clients more and more lately. What about you? What are your favorite things you've been into? What am I into lately? right yeah. now? Yeah. Very relevant right now. July 20th, 1969 is what? My well, 1969. Good lord. But I don't. I heard we, the July 20th, so I, I got really excited. I wouldn't know you if that was your birthday. <laughs> Let's just say that. That was the day we landed on the moon. <laughs> so, in celebration of that, this production company did this movie called Apollo 11, and it is easily one of the best documentaries I've ever seen. It is the best space documentary I've ever seen by a wide margin. It's really beautiful to see all that amazing footage of the 60s because you're used to seeing a lot of grainy footage like that. This yeah. is like crystal clear where you're like, whoa, like yeah. I didn't know they had this technology then. Yep. On top of that, they show a lot of amazing Speedmasters, <laughs> super cool 60s you know, outfits and wardrobe. It's just a delight to watch all around. And oh my God, I've seen it like four times now since it's come out on video. I loved it. it when, was, you, when you've been gone- I learned so much. When you've been gone, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> I've seen it way too many times. So absolutely check it out. Even the trailers for it do not do it any justice. Okay, so next I thought it would be really fun to kind of showcase the best and worst comments we've seen recently. <laughs> <laughs> There's always good and bad ones. Oh, yes. Some really oh, freaking yes. hilarious. Thank some you guys. <laughs> so insulting that they're hilarious at the same time. It's like going through the Wild West <laughs> when you're going through the comments basically. It's yeah. a no man's land. So the first comment is by Jojo Lopez and he commented in the top three summer shoes video. Dorian looks sick. Hope you're just ultra tired, bro. We also just got a lot of comments in general about Dorian needing to get a tan or go to the gym. Um, lots of those. Yeah, well, it's for a very specific reason. Uh, late April, I started getting really sick. I had a cold and then it kept progressively, progressively getting much worse. And then my right side of my stomach started feeling like someone was stabbing me with hot pokers in my stomach. So a race to the doctor, they do a bunch of scans, a bunch of tests, They're like, yep, you're absolutely having appendicitis, but it's not getting worse, which is weird. Yeah. So they do more scans, more tests, and they go, you know what? You have some inflammation going on here. We don't know what it is. We need to do more tests. Anyways, like I said, long story long, after six weeks, 
they finally did a colonoscopy. And during that time, I basically could not eat at all. Over the last six weeks, I dropped about 30 plus pounds. And that's a lot for me, obviously. I'm, I'm not and a big guy to begin with. It? You absolutely noticed it. But what the diagnosis ended up being and being confirmed was that I have Crohn's disease. Um, and what that is, just really short, really briefly, is I have <clears throat> inflammation in the junction where my um, large and small intestine meet, basically. So we went to the doctors and he's like, okay, here's all the absolutely, pardon my French, crazy drugs you need to be on for the rest of your life. And I went, that's not acceptable. Dorian won't even take a Tylenol if he has a headache. So... I, I really am reticent to yeah. take medications because I don't think we need to a majority of the time. Certainly, yeah. I'm all about Western medicine. <laughs> when you've got a problem, if there's a fix for it, I'm absolutely gonna do yeah. it. But at the same time, when I hear incurable disease, when I hear, well, the side effects are gonna be pretty rough and you're gonna have to deal with them for the rest of your life, I go, this then, is just a Band-Aid. Yeah, that's not acceptable anymore. So we started on this um, amazing diet that within a handful of days, I started noticing drastic improvement very quickly. And we started that about three weeks ago and it's a little crazy. It's like all meat, but I have to say that in those three weeks since I started, almost all of my symptoms have been abated. Literally all of them. Yeah. We're in the midst of getting yeah. through it, but I'm crazy hopeful because just the results we've been seeing have been pretty freaking phenomenal. So guys, if you have uh, like uh, bowel disease or you have inflammatory issues in the comments below, I'd be happy to talk about it with you guys. I, I, I'm in the midst of it right now, so I'm feeling for you. But anyways, there was an, um, another comment, Ash, yes. that, oh my Here. God, yeah, okay. Good. To lighten it up a little bit, this one was freaking <laughs> hilarious. In our summer style do's and don'ts video, uh, Sarah Sane said, so I'm a cannibal living in the jungle in Borneo. What should I wear? What? <laughs> <laughs> it's I'm scared. It's so stupid, it's so good. <laughs> These come through every once in a while, like some crazy scenario, and a guy's like, so what do I wear to this? I don't know, I, thought, I think it's hilarious, okay. Yeah. And to kind of finish off the video, I wanted to do one last quick little fun thing. I wanted to do kind of like a personal question, maybe something that we don't really share with you guys in the course of videos, because when we're talking about pants, it's a little hard to talk about our personal life at the same time. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna ask Ashley a question that she has no idea what the question is, and she's gonna do the same. And we did not look at each other's questions. Nope. What was the last fight that we had where you were wrong? Yep. That's the face. Well, I guess yesterday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what happened yesterday, Ashley? I decided to do a juice cleanse and then work out. When I came home, I was really, really hungry and I just had a headache and I was groggy and I just got really worked up over it. I was getting a little sensitive. And so he was like, look, he was like, you're clearly, it, you're clearly just hungry. It's, this is the, your juice cleanse talking right now. And I was like, no, it's not. I'm totally fine. This woman. He told me to eat, and I was like, no, I'm not gonna eat, I can she do this. She was fighting me about <laughs> eating, but that, that was obviously after the fight had already happened. This woman is a, pardon my French, terror when she gets hangry. She is, if you look up hangry in the dictionary, I would pay top dollar to have her picture right next to it and say, just don't feed this one for about six hours and you'll know what that means. Nasty, she's eaten. nasty. I should have eaten, I should have listened to she, you. She throws out nukes when she's, when she's hangry. Oh my God. What? Do not be around. It's I'm my gonna... weakness, okay? Yes, <laughs> yes it is. All right, Ash, All right. so what is your question for me? Okay, so Dorian, he is one of the most fascinating people I, I've ever met because he's constantly needing to learn about things and wanting to learn about things. So I always love to discover new things that he's learned. And so my question to you is, what is the most fascinating thing you've learned this week? Oh my God. So I've had a bit of spare time on my hands where I can't move and I'm in bed for like a week on end. So I got it up my in my mind that I wanted to learn the origin story of Batman <laughs> through the comics. So I, I read all of the all of the Frank Miller series Batman books, okay. and uh, apparently I didn't know this, but do you know how the Robin came to be in existence, like no. Batman and Robin? Uh -uh. He kidnapped Robin. Batman kidnapped Robin. Yeah, and Why? basically made him like his slave in the Batcave. And what? you're like, what the hell? This no is way. This is psycho. 
<laughs> Obviously, this is the Frank Miller version. I don't know like the old school, like 1950s version for Batman or whatever. Okay. Second thing, I've talked about it briefly in another video. I'm in the throes of a four or five book series about basically the entire life of Lyndon Johnson. And the guy is easily the most fascinating person I've ever read about, ever. I don't know how to describe it, but it is freaking amazing. It is the top three book series or biographies I've ever read. And I, I love reading biographies. Oh my God, I'll, I'll link it below. It's by All Robert right. A. Caro. <laughs> oh, each book I'm so glad is 1500 plus pages each. I'm so glad it's so long because I'd be really bummed if it was short. Anyways. There we go. All right, so that's it. That's our check-in, our catch-up or whatever. If you guys like it, let us know in the comments below. Also, if you have questions, maybe for asking Ashley or I that you wanna know about, we'd be happy to discuss it in a future video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. Thanks so much, guys. Really appreciate it and really appreciate the support and you guys noticing me like, hey, you know, you're not looking so hot. Like, what's going on? We're I working on definitely it. Definitely received some emails like that too. So really appreciate that, guys. It's very, very nice of you, very sweet. All right, thanks so much, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.